Hi everybody, today is May 13th, 2020, 5.52 p.m. It is 63 Fahrenheit, 17 Celsius. I'm on the Hudson River Greenway at 125th Street in Manhattan. And this is a part three of going to Inwood, Manhattan on my bicycle. I'll be going to Inwood, Manhattan along the Hudson River Greenway. That's the uppermost neighborhood on Manhattan Island. So let's get started. Gonna wait for all these cyclists here. Must have looked behind me. Seems like it's safe to go now. Let's go. I really like this section of Manhattan. Beautiful waterfront view here. You got the George Washington Bridge in the background, New Jersey. Also, all the plants and trees are in bloom as well. Here's the Fairway Supermarket. Looks like the cops busted someone here or something. Seagull saying hello. Gonna pass these people. Here the bike route changes. I need to go to the right here. And then go to the left. Not over here, but over here. If any of you are watching from the earlier parts in this video, don't think that because I avoided that steep hill on Amsterdam Avenue doesn't mean that I have to climb it again because I'm gonna have to pay for it later for skipping that. We'll see if I'll be able to get up there without uh, walking my bike. I am carrying a bit of weight on the back here, including my camera gear and two locks, so. We'll see about that. Someone's carrying package on the city bike. Another one with a Target bag. I see a lot of electric scooters too. Those seem to be uh, getting more popular now in the city, the electric scooters. large puddle over here. As far as I remember, that area has always had drainage issues. Here's a very nice section of the park, easily my favorite part of the Hudson River Greenway.
One thing you gotta be careful is the bumps in the greenway. Sometimes there are tree roots that bring up the pavement so it's not level. Gotta be a little bit careful of that. Now there may be an area up ahead where um, there's a break in the greenway. I remember it being that way before. Some people there are playing frisbee. Now this bridge over here leads to um, Riverside Drive. I forget which street it is, but it's a nice little area. You can go there. Don't know what's up with those guys. You can't really ride an electric bike here, especially at that speed. That's kind of crazy. <clears throat> it's nice to keep people informed with a bell where you are. That was a rather dangerous situation. Those people did not move over from me at all. And then we had a cyclist coming the other way. Actually, I wouldn't call it dangerous, but uncomfortable, slightly dangerous. I should put it that way. here playing handball against the wall. Handball is a very competitive activity here in New York. All right, now I get a dedicated bicycle lane. Here you got volleyball being played. No, 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 that's, that's why I said it wrong. Another game of volleyball here. I just heard a squirrel back there barking at something. I like this part of the path, nice and secluded.
In a few short moments, I'll be cycling underneath the George Washington Bridge. It's the only bridge connecting New York City to New Jersey. Whoa, I didn't know they were doing construction over here. Hard hat area, wow. This is some project. Right now would be a good time for them to finish this. I always like this part. It's like an art installation of some sorts with rock sculptures. getting some allergies right now. They've been pretty good up until now. all the tennis courts here. Here's a picturesque scene. George Washington Bridge with the little red lighthouse underneath it. There is a book that was made from this, a little red lighthouse. All right, here's the hill that I was mentioning about earlier. I don't know if I'll make it up here because I'm carrying a lot of weight. But it's gonna be a challenge to go up here. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Oh. Wow. This is heavy. Or hard rather. Very steep. I am standing on top of my pedals here. Putting a lot of weight down. All right, made it up that short stretch. Now, I remember the city had to do some renovations to this wooden bridge that goes over the railroad tracks. Haven't been here since. But we'll see if that's fixed now. Oh look, they did fix it a little bit. New planks, but that seems shorter than the old one.
All right. Here's man. Here's where I may have to walk up. I think this is going to be tough for me. The very, very sharp curve over there. Yeah, I think I'm going to walk. It's already. Woo! I got too much weight over here. I'm carrying camera gear, two locks, a few cables back there, my GoPro. Not easy. I can do it without all those things, but it's an extra at least 20 pounds, I think, back there. even hard walking up this hill. Whew. Okay. All right, back on the bicycle now. Get some water. Time to continue. I know I probably disappointed many of you because I couldn't make it up that hill, but I'll do it next time. I remember this pathway being very treacherous before because there were a lot of gaps in the fence over here and also a lot of potholes that they had to put traffic cones inside of. Hope those are all fixed. Now the bikeway gets very narrow over here. This bridge here goes to 181st Street and the George Washington Bridge. Got some tree roots again. Now this is what I was warning about earlier, about holes in the pathway here. orange designation for the tree roots the crack in the sidewalk got 
got some dirt over here. For Tryon Park and the cloisters are very close by. There's NYPD Highway Patrol sitting in their vehicle. I literally like this area. I think this used to be like a viewing column or something. And I took the wrong way because I was supposed to go on the lower path. what happens when you get distracted. Maybe this does connect to the lower pathway. I don't really remember too well. Oh, it does, but it's a dirt path. So interesting there. Whoa, that is a huge traffic cone. How deep is this hole? Whoa, you don't want to get stuck in there. Low railing, not for those who are afraid of heights. Here I am, neighborhood of Inwood, Manhattan. Oh wow, this is open now to go to the Bronx. Oh no, I'm mistaken, this is not. I thought it was. I think there's another way to get on this bridge unless it's still under construction. Here's where you gotta have great turning skills. Sharp turn here.
Okay, time to go. This is the neighborhood of Inwood, and I'm on Dykeman Street. I'm gonna ride Dykeman Street all the way to Broadway, and then maybe all the way to um, the one train, and I'll see what I wanna do after that. Maybe I'll do a walking video live of Inwood. It'll be pretty interesting to do. I may also be in time for the 7 p.m. cheering and clapping of Inwood. Okay, I wonder what happened here. Did they close off this street to traffic or made this one way going this way? It used to be two way. Huh, very interesting. They changed the configuration since I was last here. But regardless, I'm still going to go here because it is the most direct way and I'm not impeding anything. So you got to be careful here. There's a great slope. Mean. Now there is a two-way bike lane there, so I think it's safe to cross with the pedestrians. All right, let's go. Very lively here on Dykeman Street. That's Broadway, here's a fruit stand. Juice box is open. Jolly and Grocery, Burgos Restaurant. <laughs> Furniture place. Pharmacy and gifts. Edible arrangements. Very nice. Cafe. That's open. Wow, you got a juice stand here too. Very nice. Electronics. A lot of retail here is closed. Foot Locker, GameStop. CVS is open though. Thank you. this driver doing? Had the light but didn't want to go. There goes the subway in front of me. Here's Nagel Avenue.
Okay, folks, I'm going to end the video here. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed this video from the Hudson River Greenway to Inwood. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.